Hey Legionnaires, welcome back. We're here in Rome 2 Total War once again and we are here with a Rome 2 3v3 Siege Battle for you today. It's been a little while since we've done a Rome 2 Siege Battle, but oh good. Uh, it's going to be back. It's going to be back basically. We have a uh, Seleucid Rome and Iceni coalition here as well as they take on Rome, Arverni, and I think maybe another Rome. I'm not entirely sure. There seems like a lot of Romans coming up here. Um, but yeah, it's certainly going to be a fun one, that is for sure. I'm really looking forward to this one. And yeah, if you guys are fans of all things Total sort of War and Rome 2, I want to see more Rome 2 sieges. Do not leave a like, subscribe if you're new on here, and a comment to show your support. We have some auxiliary Syrian archers already loosened some deadly volleys into the thorax as they get ready to uh, storm this breach that's been opened up here. It's a big, big breach. Rome is going to defend all of this. The cohort now. You can see the eagle here. It's touched by the emperor himself. Ready to be defended with every ounce. Oh my god, these Praetorians here as well. I didn't even see these guys. They are 106. They've already lost. Like, look at that. So many. What a waste of money that is. So many dead Praetorians. Now in comes shield bearers for the Seleucids. It's an interesting move, it is in the spears first. They, they're going in first. And here we go, the Eagle Court cohort also going in. They are, yeah, I mean, look at that Eagle Court clashing. Seems like. Uh, I think the Thorax are trying to get around yes. the flank. I don't know if like, they're shifting move, like shifting uh, the combat across all the lives there. But yeah, the Thorax are trying to do their bit. Shieldbearer is here with should, uh, well, I don't know. Shieldbearer's spears aren't very aggressive, basically. I don't know what they're really uh, going to achieve and hope to do here. The chosen Source moving to support against the Thorax should finish that Thorax off pretty easily. They're going to need archers and things like that in here, that's for sure. Here we go, legionary cohort going against Praetorians. We have Romans fight, fighting Romans here. So many Romans. There's going to be a lot of Roman blood shed. It'll be a sad day for the Empire. Yes, if you want to send in your own replays, like, hope I've got some glorious Total War replays, whether it's Rome 2, whether it's Napoleon or anything like that. Feel free to send in to my Discord link down below in the description. And as always, I'm more than happy to check out your guys' replays and see what you've been up to. And another wall comes down here. Look at that. That collapses onto the Praetorians again, killing so many. There's like so many dead Praetorians down here. They've just been killed by a collapsing wall. And it's really kind of poor from the player, to be honest, not realizing that this is happening. Like, pull this Praetorian back. If you're seeing your walls have been collapsed, you probably should pull back your men. I think the uh, I see might have done the same damage to themselves though. There's a lot of dead chosen swords. I feel like the Icenium might have accidentally hurt themselves here. They're fighting spear gladiators. The, the women's uh, gladiators. I feel like we never see them being brought. Never. Kind of cool to see them here in fighting. But very light spear infantry unit. Yeah, they're dying to uh, these chosen sword bumps pretty easily. I'll put up the HUD as well so you guys can see what kills are being get. Spear gladiators. I mean. 17 kills, not that great really. I mean, what are the other like spear variants? Triari have like 31 melee attacks, so I guess the spear Glatrice is, yeah, just rely on like high melee attack and weapon damage. That's about it. Yeah, there's uh, yeah, there's definitely two Romes here and then an Iceni. Uh, sorry, uh, an Arverni, sorry, on the defense. And then we have a Seleucid Rome and Iceni attack. We have a uh, Sokiai Extraordinary here. They're fighting on the front line, taking on the Iceni hordes. I see you losing that fight. Sokka okay, Extraordinary have better melee attack than him. Wow, I'm surprised by that. I actually don't know which map we're on either. I don't really recognize this map. We've got a second tier of uh, defense here as well, a second wall. So I don't know whether the uh, defenders will pull back to it. I think it, I thought maybe it was Athens, but I'm not sure. I mean, that looks like Athena. It might be that it's Athens, but Athens, I didn't think had a second tier, unless you maybe 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 put it on extra large or something like that. Maybe it does. I'm not sure. But maybe it's uh, Hella or something like that. I don't know. I, I'm terrible with Rome 2 maps. I can never remember what they are. The 
Rome's legionaries here. They're fighting on hard. Victorians are starting to waver here now. They've got 107 kills. I mean, this unit you know, got like destroyed by the wall when it collapsed. What it could have done then if it had full strength again. You know? have more spear clad pieces down here. Yeah, really are bringing just about every unit that the Roman roster has. I've seen Triari, I've seen like legionaries from all eras. I've seen Sokiai, Extraordinary. Gladiators, 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 well, I actually haven't seen gladiators yet, but I'm sure there's some lying around waiting to be used. I've only went with a much more just, you know, solid uh, army of just like chosen swords. I imagine there'll be some most sword or something like that. I think that's it. That's all they brought, and that's probably a not bad idea, to be honest. Break off. Yeah, they're knocking down another breach, though. Break the Syrian archers here, are they breaking? Oh. They must be. 31 out of 120. They can't be standing, surely, still. Maybe they are. But yeah, in goes more and more solutions. Now, what do we have in here? There's pikes in here now. They're just pikes. Oh, all right. It's the average pike unit. Nothing expensive. They still the shields. But the pikes might make a difference. They might be able to force back these defenders here. Force them back from these damn breaches. They've been fighting for so long. Also, the packs look like they're kind of on a wonk. They've got an angle here. That they, I feel like they could definitely be killed off quite easily. If they wanted to try. But yeah, look at this. Rome's evil cohort starting to die. The chosen uh, sword band as well. They are uh, starting to fail. And we're seeing Romans now coming in from the attackers as well as they try to support over here. Icenia and Rome had a bit more luck over here. They are in. And now they're kind of battering away at the Sokia Extraordinary still. And what the kills they got. <laughs> Only 67, actually. I suspect them to have a lot more, but maybe it's the archers that we do in the work. Yeah, I see. He looks like he's getting ready for another assault. He's going in against an Evercardi cohort next. So some veterans of the uh, Roman army. Let's see them here. Look at them. The centurion and the standard barrier, like. We must send these barbarians packing, boys, for Rome. Got decades of experience. They're ready to use it in that street fight there. The pikes over here, though, they have done an absolute beautiful job of forcing back I mean, the gladiators and the legionaries here at Rome. The losers, yeah, I don't know how much they've really lost. They've certainly lost a couple of... Um, Thorax swords and some shield bearers. Well, they're still in good nick, and they still have. Me they brought Medi and Cav as well. Okay, and brought more shield bearers. This is a strange build. Oh, he's got elephants back here as well. Good. He's holding on to the Syrian uh, armored elephants. These are, I think, by far and away the best of all the elephants. I think uh, the Indian ones are pretty damn good as well. But the Syrian ones, I think, are slightly cheaper, but the same stats. So, arguably, are just better. Look at that, it looks like Evercardi helped route some, uh, some Arverni units and now it looks like they're in over here as well. And they've started their fight in the street as well as Iceni. There's one area starts to cool off. The fight another area is still being very, very intense. see I see in a siege as well. Don't often see them, but I mean, yeah, their chosen sword band doing okay. I mean, the melee attack is like is not that great though. Like 33 is pretty poor. That's like worse than a thorax. I don't really know how, what they bring to the game. I mean, he looks like he just brought sheer numbers of uh, chosen sword band, and he has got his heroic nobles behind, which are looking pretty nasty with 48 melee attack. Yeah, these chosen sword band really aren't that great actually. They get beaten by a lot of stuff. Because it's just a poor melee attack. Armored legionaries and Evercardi all waiting back here as well. So there's a lot of like nasty stuff to get through than like Sokiai Extraordinary. I think he's sending forward another one as well. Yeah. I would definitely would be if I was the ICD, I'd be like, well, we've got a long way to go, boys. Oh, what were they brought in? Veteran riders. Ah, he didn't even bring like a, a chariot. I was like, 
Maybe he'll bring a chariot. We'll bring that to the party. That'll be fun. So he brought a veteran rider. I don't know why. It's not like there's anywhere he can be really used either. It's not, there's nothing to run down. I mean, I imagine all these streets are blocked off by Alverni troops. I'd imagine. Um, all Romans. We'll see. The Evercardi Cohort fighting in here against Evercardi Cohort. Who do you think will win? I am put my money on the Evercardi Cohort. Syrian Arch is waiting behind. I guess waiting for something a bit like better to shoot at. I'd be shooting at the pikes whenever I get a chance, though. Just to try and weaken them. Yeah, it looks like most of the attack is still in really good nick. Seleucus actually have a lot left. They just brought a really weird build army, that's for sure. A lot of spears. Uh, and not a lot of swords at all, I guess. I don't know. Something about... I don't know. A very hop-like... Like, heavy faction. Or, like, frost that was what they were wanted. I don't know. Brought some raw pearl passage to handy, but... Yeah, definitely could do with bringing a bit more of them. Because they're the ones, like, you know... The reason I always say, oh, it's a bit strange for Spears. Spears' just melee attack is just never as good. Like, their melee defense is usually very, very good. The thing is that the sluice are on the attack. So you obviously want to like, melee attack. Where you like, is like your key, most important stat. They're cycling out units as well, you know, allowing them all to fresh it up, which is a really good move. That's a sign of a good player. I mean, if you can, can do it, sometimes it, it's not like if you don't do it in your CG, you're a terrible player. Sometimes it's a situation if you have the reserves and it's like in a single choke point like that, you can. But obviously, you have to put something else in while you pull out your other unit. You can't just like pull out your unit because you would lose your entire unit. Saki Extraordinary though, doing a really good job, still holding here. 100 kills they've got, it's not too bad. I feel, and like these guys have 37 melee attack, like these guys have like mediocre stats uh, and there's like the Chosen Sword Banner is struggling to get through them. This is what I'm saying, like once it gets to these uh, harder stuff, like these better Romans back here, they're gonna have a real rough time. Uh, it looks like Syrian Arch is getting shot to pieces as well, which is good to see. Uh, if you're rooting for the attackers, they look like they are. On it, they're trying to get rid of the uh, the Syrian archers, which is always good play. You know, get rid of your opponent's range, and then you, they can't really, you know, they're a lot more one-dimensional. Again, Romans attacking down here. Alberni, yeah, troops have got no chance. He's uh, turns the swords are decent, but they're not as good enough to stop the Avocardi. Like 61 melee attack, that is ridiculous. But I guess when they've served so many years in the legions, they know exactly where to stab you, exactly how to use their weapons. Yeah, these Celts, they're doing their best. Oh, they're not, not Celts, they're Gauls. Celts are on the other side, they're fighting for well, more Romans. There's just so many Romans in this one. These guys are more like the Celts, more like Britons. Well, okay, I guess Gauls, Gauls are like, it's not like the Celtic culture. Oh, we've got a push here from the Romans. Armored legionaries. Oh, they're pulling through, absolutely pulling through. What is the player doing? He's going to lose a lot of troops here. Yeah, yeah, that is not the move. I mean, that kind of breaks up formations, often sends you to start losing decisively. Yeah, that pull through there from the uh, Roman player. I'm not a fan of. Hopefully, he loses a lot of troops for it. We'll see, though. We'll see.
Looks like he's going to pull out his exor uh, Sokia Extraordinary. Oh, he's... I don't know what he's trying to do. He's just trying to win this combat to pull his troops back. I don't know, but he's in a bad spot now because he can get blanked. And you can see that's exactly what's happening here. I see him throw a more chosen sword band and keep these units engaged and flank them. And now the Romans doing the same, charging a small uh, unit of their own legions here. And they are flanking their own kids, trying to kill them. And it's all getting a bit messy down here. There's legionaries on both sides here trying to, uh, you know, get some kills. Yeah, I mean, gosh. Tiny ass units of Romans are on this side here. The attackers. There you go. Are legionaries, are the legionaries winning this? They should probably will. I mean, like, again, 61 melee attack. These guys have some good, good stats. Uh, good melee defense. Good armor. They're not going to be breaking anytime soon. But there you go. They're going to try and run for it. Usually, like I said, you, just, you should pull, like, the uh, attackers went away and didn't chase them down. It's, it's like, you some easy kills there. But yeah, usually when you pull out like that, you lose a lot of men. Um, but that, that player was lucky. They all just pulled out and managed to really get away and survived. Yeah, lucky on them there. Street fights still going on here. Rome taking on Rome still. It looks like one Evercati be the other Evercati. And now they're charging to more Evercati. <laughs> Everyone knows what's as good, and it is Evercardi Cohort. They are by far and away the best legionaries to bring. But people bring them. Like for price and also stats. Look at them. Look at the Romans. They're glorious. Exhausted though, these guys. Seen a lot of action. And look at this. Rome's actually been defeated here by Arverni. Levy Freeman and Chosen Swords uh, combining with, it looks like, some Gallic Hunters. Maybe I saw some shots come in. Help to push back the Romans here. Uh, Seleucids, they're still pushing on. They're making some steady progress with their spears. Obviously, their pikes, their pushing power, really. Yeah, it's not a very exciting fight for the Spears. They're all in hot flight war as well, I think, so it's even more or less exciting. Uh, what's going on here, though? Thurio Spears, they're fighting off against Chosen Swords. Good thing about Thurio Spears is they do have a lot of jabbies, and jabbies have got down nasty in Rome, too, so... Oh my gosh, that poor guy got brutalized. Yeah, so jabbies, like, if Thurio Spears are going to use great, they can just, like, annihilate you and have to go in and just finish them off. But yeah, it looks like Thurio Spears, I think I'm going to get pushed back there. They'll need those roll peltas that are just sitting in behind. The elephants are now inside the city, and they're quite near the front line. So I'm kind of excited to see what they'll do. There you go, the icy Union repelled again, and that body, uh, those piles of bodies there. Let's fill it up, looks like. Just gonna carry on fighting over the street. The Romans trying to get themselves a little charge. Yeah, I see you do the same. I don't know. I feel like neither side here is uh, going to give any ground. And there's there's no point really to be honest. Roman, I see you just keep fighting for this street. Eventually, one of them will win. And one of them will run out of men. Usually, that is the defenders. That's usually how it works. Balance power is also looking pretty dead even right now. Probably only slightly in favor of the attack is because of the elephants. Yep. Legionaries here keep on moving forward. Armored legionaries are just, you know, steadily getting kills, killing these Iceni troops off. They've really had a rough time. I'm waiting until those heroic nobles come in. I'm expecting great stuff from them. I'm expecting great stuff indeed. Cav. The Iceni is also just right by the front line. I don't know why. Still haven't worked that out. Uh, it looks like we have the Pikes now coming forward as well. And also, Sluice is fighting on the walls. Okay. I haven't seen any sort of wall fighting all game, but... Like the uh, Caesar and Gaul sort of like style legionaries here. The Republican legionaries. The 
taking on Royal Peltas and losing. Pikes are being uh, forced forward. They are uh, forcing back the uh, defenders here, but they are getting shot as as they go. See the Gallic Hunters there, yeah, taking some fire. Oh, we've got Oswan sitting in behind here, and they're getting shot to pieces actually right now by missiles. 123 men left. There you go. 117. Here, struggling on. Royal Peltas are starting to die, and the Oswan going in is not going to help that situation. What else has gone back in? Three of spears? Oh dear. Maybe a little, maybe it's time for the elephants Loose. soon. I mean, you, you probably got to wait for ammunition to run dry, but. Yeah, you, you hope they'd be sending soon, soon to make a push somewhere. Maybe over here. There doesn't seem like there's many archers here. It's like a tiny little Syrian auxiliary. I guess this is the Javis are a problem. But look at this angle these legions up here. This is insane. Throwing the javelins down into the uh, mass down there of Vicini troops. Just pick your targets, boys, and throw your javelins. Awesome. That is really cool. They yeah, are helping out with that fight. Because the Chosen Swordband are losing down there. I mean, I think they were losing anyway, but, you know, helping in their own way. General coming forward here. Bold moves to bring him so close to the front lines. I see he hasn't brought any range, so he really can't, like, just sit back and just try and shoot units. He's just going all in. His only move is to just send in infantry. Just keep sending it in. I mean, it might work. You never know. He might eventually break through, but it is going to cost him a lot of lives. Archers at least kind of help unlock choke points, but they don't have any to uh, IT. I think the best thing is Javis and Slingers. Uh, they decided not to bring any of those. Routed. Oh no, they haven't routed that sword you die. The other Evercardi, they're just retreating. At 30, well, 30 men, I would just leave it in there. There's no point resting it up. Got 175 kills though. This looks like the most likely place to break through. The attackers, are, uh, the attacking room, actually sending in his own Torians now. It looks like they're going to break through the Evercardi. The Torian's 74 melee attack. That's just disgusting, isn't it? Ten more than the uh, Evercarty. Wild. By far away the best sword around. Oh, they're kind of engaging the wrong Evercarty now, though. You need to be careful. That and there you go. The elephants are in. Okay, they have been committed. Elephants are in. They are getting killed. What they on? 88. Haven't lost an elephant yet. They're killing off O Sword. And the. Our Verdi player is really not using any of his ammunition. I'm sure his archers have ammo left to deal with these uh, elephants. You'd hope so. I mean, his archers right here. Oh, they're out of ammo. They have their swords out. I think actually our Verdi might have no bows left. So this is why they've gone in. Really nice done here by the Slusa player. This might make it the difference. Looks like actually our Verdi's beating him over here. His pikes are getting outmaneuvered and so are his hot plates. Yeah, it looks like actually he might. <laughs> it's a good thing he is sending these elephants in. Because uh, he might need to make that push. And could he now go into the archers and then into the back of these units here? Support Rome. Help kill these guys off. I would carry on being aggressive. I mean, also you want to rest them up as well. But yeah, this is easy. Kill. Oh, well, I say it's easy kills. They lost an elephant to archers. The archers charged in and one of the elephants just killed over and was like, nah, that's it. I'm done. Surprising. There you go. Yeah, these elephants easily kill off the uh, the archers. There, they're, they're already gone. That was how quick it took. Yeah, actually, that was time enough for the Oswan to get out of here alive. Uh, I mean, really, these uh, Syrian Syrian elephants should probably. They are exhausted. They should probably be rested up. I don't know. If they push on, they might be able to break through. 
I mean, they're into the Oath one here. It's going to be a devastating charge into them. And then there's a general, a Roman general in behind. So they might be, might be in the right interest to just keep pushing on. I mean, I think if you rest them up, they get more kills. But it's not the be-all and end-all. Praetorians here broken through. Uh, and they've snuck in behind and they've actually engaged these Evercardi and they're going to release this uh, load of... Ro well, these are Arvonian Romans here that are fighting. That's good. And also they have pr another Praetorian there just fighting the Evercardi. That would be an easy win for them. Looks like over here though, yeah, Iceni and Rome really struggling to get through. That's because I think Rome's just throwing so many troops here. Like, they're so out of position now. At least you've got legionaries up on that wall. Uh, there's another legionary here. They need to be shifted across to go and help against the elephants. Like... My my guy, get your elephants back. Oh, like get your guys back for the elephants. What have we got here? Praetorians, but not Praetorian guard. Okay, 65 melee attack. Still very very good. And it looks like they are going to defend this sort of like next tier of defense. So uh, yeah, the elephants. How many have they lost? They've just lost the one. They're taking fire from somewhere. Oh, it's the bows back here. Syrian uh, elephants being shot up by those bows Riders, by Syrian London. archers. So yeah, they need to. Uh, Get them back, get them under control. I just retreat them now. Let them rest up a little bit. I think you've done all the breaking through you can do now. It's, yeah, very much code red for the uh, defenders now. They need to just get troops back. Whatever they can get back is uh, save it for the last stand here. But it does look like they've got a decent amount back and some good quality troops as well. Oh, swarm back here. We've got to see the Praetorians as well. Probably a few of the Roman units as well that might get back. They're, you know, good quality units, all, most of the Roman units anyway. Yeah, we'll see how these guys do. Archers as well. I mean, if these guys have ammo, it's going to be handy. Yeah, they have their bows out. They have ammo. So that will be handy. Oh, this is not good, though. And this is why the ICD player brought his cap, I guess. You know, just to run down your retreating units. Just like that. The Syrian archer is going to be dealt with pretty easily. That is unfortunate, because I think this one had ammo. Yeah, it's got his bows out. It might just get back some... Like, some of the unit might get back. We'll see. I don't know why the Romans haven't countercharged scare off the uh, the cab here, but the, yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. The units down to 52 might break it. Yeah, the the cab's actually sacrificing itself, like running at the Praetorians to just carry on trying to chase down these uh, these auxiliary archers. Some of them are going to get away. Just about 33 out of that unit survived a brutal fight. Uh, Syrian elephants again. He's just going to keep charging them in. I would, you know, rest them up, send in some more infantry. Weaken the uh, defense, then send in these guys. He's just going to go straight in with the elephants, and this could be a mistake. These guys will still have jabbies. Here we go, elephants going in. There you go, I feel that was a mistake. A waste of these Syrian elephants as well. There are 430 kills, I mean, I'll give them that. They have done very well, but they could have got more. They could have got even more kills. They're going berserk now as they uh, get jabbed to pieces here. And they'll carry on getting kills. 450, I imagine. But they are starting to die here. Oh, 468. We are going on. Maybe 500. Who knows? They can keep a couple alive. There's always a chance. They earned a silver chevron, though. They've done very well. They've also weakened up this, uh, this Praetorian and also this whole front line by all of them using their jabbies to try and kill these elephants. Uh, I think we're going to be like 20 short of uh, 500. I don't think they'll make it, unfortunately. But it's it was done very. They've done very well. These uh, Syrian elephants done very well. And now, I mean, now the attackers can get ready. They can bring up what remains of their like infantry. We've got the chosen sword band, some Praetorians. Still haven't seen the heroic nobles in action. I think they've just arrived inside the city. Yeah, heroic nobles. Time to arrive. They might have seen like, I think still have seen minimal action. And yeah, it looks like oh, what was over here? A legionary. That'd be the weakest point. I'd I'd want to attack this with like um, either the heroic nobles or some of these Praetorians. Send those in. You just clear these guys out. It's clearly the uh, weakest point to uh, attack, and then you can just sneak in this way. But we'll see what they do. They're already fighting again down here. They're just setting up like tiny little token units. 
Oh, these Arvernians, where have they come from? They flanked around or they just, they get left outside and get cut off. I think that might be in the case. They're actually helping to kill off these Bear Lake Slingers, which is quite funny. There you go, that was unfortunate for uh, the Bear Lake Slingers, but handy that for Arvernians. We've got two more units now back safe inside the Citadel. Yeah, that's kind of poor from a solution to allowing those guys to actually recommit. Looks like they have a lot of bow ammo left as well with the solutions. Most of these guys are really, well, actually, might be 50-50. Some of their swords, some of their bows out. So we'll see what they do in a moment. It looks like veteran riders here. Did they charge into that legion? legion or was that just a not very healthy one? I think it might be not a very healthy one. They've got 111 kills on the veteran riders. They're not done too bad. They pay for themselves. And in we go. It's not where you want to be as a Roman. Surrounded by Britons. They practice human sacrifice. They're going to end up as a human sacrifice. So I'm saying. There you go, they started a waiver and break there. They are gone. Yeah, they already got their uh, formation set up here. You can just about see as it disappears. There's plenty of Robins uh, defending that gate by the looks of it. Yeah, so it's just going to require some brute force and just grinding away, and they can probably break through. But we'll see. Balance powers in favor of defenders. Oh, sorry, in favor of uh, attackers. And they don't have the elephants really anymore. So, yeah. Uh, you know, they can still do uh, their bit. The elephants actually have a uh, rally. It's good to see. And they're tired. You know, they're slowly getting uh, their freshness back, which is very, very key. I always think if I bring elephants uh, on the attack, I will always have second win. Because then you just give the elephants a second win. It's great. Great, uh, like, matchup there for the uh, the general and the elephants. That's always one of the biggest problems. Bar archers, which you can kind of get around. Tiredness is probably the greatest thing. Uh, the greatest enemy of the elephants. Lots of Praetorians over here still waiting for Rome. We'll send those in sooner or later. Here we go, Chosen Sword Band going in. They're going to be fighting off against uh, Chosen Swordsman. Let's we'll see who wins this. I think maybe the, the Sword Band should win it. They're better armor. But the uh, Chosen Sword's a better melee attack. I mean, you can't have much worse, man. It's like 33. But yes, the barbarians fight on these steps while the two Roman sides what, sit back, relax, and just watch each other. I watch each other's allies here fight it out. But yeah, it looks like the I see them might be getting pushed down these steps. Actually, looks like some of the Arvini have broken though. Yeah, they're at 36, 33. Yeah, they, but they are winning because. Just better, uh, like, armor. And that's what makes the difference at the end of the day. 75 against 82, actually. They don't have better armor. How the hell? The health, maybe? 60 to 55, maybe. That's what it is. Yeah, I guess that, that must be what it is. And I was like, oh, these guys must have better armor. They're, he they're very heavy melee infantry. But it doesn't always work like that, I guess. These guys have earned a chevron, though. But uh, I don't think that would, like, dramatically change it. That probably adds the two. Looks like over here, I see you really don't fancy uh, marching this uh, this slow. They are in shield ball. And just to make things trickier, it seems like these Bastion Ballistas are getting fired now as well, which is kind of a bit cheesy. They put them on the second tier and they're now using them now. So they've got some artillery pieces here that can just bombard the weakened. Robin and Iceni units are over there. Very cheeky, I feel like, from, uh, from the Roman players. Again, here, I can hear the um, Arverni one as well doing the same thing, firing down here, trying to get kills. Very cheeky of the uh, defenders. on fire ammo now as well just to make it easy to see his shots he's got some good targets back here the uh Praetorians being in shield wall oh no shield wall Tessudo is 
still are, just to make sure that, you know, they're not getting shot for free by the Arch Tower. Looks like Praetorians as well also joining the fun down here. You can see their purple cloaks. It should be white, but we moved past it. CA wanted, I don't know, purple cloaks. More Imperial looking, I guess. Using the Imperial purple. These Praetorians got 115 kills. Not too shabby. It's not insane either. And Romans continue to fight Romans here. It's a proper civil war. Gladius's flash with Gladius's. Two lines of scutums press up against each other until one side gives in and breaks. Torian's visit in here though will uh, probably put the uh, battle in favor of the, uh, the Romans here because the legions actually are starting to give ground. There are more Praetorians back here though. They pretty work keeping some elites in reserve. Don't know why they had Praetorian Guard on their front lines now. Like if they were gonna if they always had the intention of falling back to here. I feel like uh, a Praetorian versus Praetorian Guard. So it's like the Imperial versus the Republican Praetorians now. Yeah, if they always had intentions of pulling back to it, I would have had the Praetorian Guard back here as well. Of your last stand. Not on the front line. And you can tell that they always had intention of falling back here because there was all these Praetorians got left here the entire battle. Along with some of these O Sworn. Like these 160 man O Sworn units that are still here. Just seems very silly and very wasteful of the player just to uh I have his O's, uh, not his O's one, his Praetorians in the front line from minute one. And they just like lost so many troops and collapsing walls rather than to enemy swords. Some sort of rally's gone up. Oh, quite literally, they have just put a, a rally and raised the banner. General here using some abilities, not a bad idea, I guess, but I don't think the Romans were in any danger of wavering over there. There's plenty of them at the moment. I actually think they might win that fight. Uh, it looks like, well, actually, I don't know. And all these troops are engaged. Heroic nobles are waiting patiently. They might make the difference. Oh, there's a cab unit. This is a defender's cab. I thought this was attacking Rome's cab, but no, there's a leader in cavalry here. Causing some issues for... Uh, for the IC any player. Okay, well that gives also a purpose, more purpose to the veteran riders. They can go in and just clash. And then a bit of support from the from a heroic noble that would help. But yeah, wow. Okay. Oh no, and the uh, of course the veteran riders have got off their horses and they're well dismounted, fighting in the front lines. Of course they are. The one time they needed for a me uh, like for an actual cab fight, fight each other, and they're not there. They're not there to do it. Still five of this choke point. The Victorians should be through these uh, chosen swords, though. They are just absolute machines. Oh, they're not uh, so they're not chosen the Oath Swarm, but even still, Oath Swarm only have 51 melee attack against what the Tory Guards are 68, and then if you get Chevrons, it goes up to 70. Don't stand a damn chance. Oh, yeah, here we go. You can see the banner in the background. The Alberni banner is starting to come down. Robes will be going up shortly. 
we go. There's the loser cab to do as well. They're bringing a med in cab. What a strange move. I mean, there is gaps for it. We are quickly now. I guess you can go and get these slingers, which are, is a bit of a win, but... Yeah, there's not really a lot to get with the uh, with the cavalry, really, that's for sure. But here we go. Slingers die here. It's the cavalry. I guess they can rear charge on the choke points. Or they can go for generals. That's true. You can go for this general here. His leg is a general bodyguard. He's blocked him because of all the uh, engagements currently going on. So I guess, yeah, the uh, Median cavalry can do that. Kill him off. He should do that fairly easily. We'll wait patiently for what is it now is going to be the general dying, I think, for the moment. Yeah, I mean, the bodyguard is losing. They've lost five guys already. They'll start to lose even more. And you can see here the choke point. They're kind of getting forced back from the action choke point and just, like, being pushed to the side here. Three of Spears are winning against Oswald. You don't see that very often. Elephant's coming back in for round two. He got to get to 500 kills. They might do it as well. There you go. I guess the defenders conceded or something like that. I think they must have. There's no way they mass routed yet. They still have plenty of troops there. So yeah, they must have just conceded. A bit poor, really. I mean, because I wanted to see those elephants get to uh, 500 kills. But there you go. That's how it goes sometimes. Uh, this is sent in by TJ the Diddler. Who was playing as the Seleucid? So thank you very much, TJ, for sending this one in. 482 kills with the Syrian armored elephants, uh, and then we got like his archers here with 138, 137 kills. Uh, Pikeman with 155, 221 with the Royal Pell Task, 232 with another one there. The shield bearer is getting like 170 kills. It's not too bad actually, and Sturio Spear is getting 115. Then we have uh, Lucas Pellini playing as Rome. 137 kills with his uh, giant blister there. 190 kills with the Syrian archers here. Uh, and then his Evercardi cohort, which brought so many. I don't know what the funds were for this one, but like, like there's some mega armies on both sides. I just like to say, like, uh, Evercardi cohort anyway here, 213, the best of the bunch. His Legion cohort, 225. And then his uh, Praetorian guard, 248. Two, I mean, most have got into the 200s, 215, 222. And we have second of the Reeb. Uh, and. And um, yeah, as he was playing against ICD, I don't know. I was gonna say he's playing into the heroic nobles, but that's not right at all. What if his heroic nobles did get one nine two kills? Though, is very good and still healthy. Um, but yeah, most of his chosen sword band, which is just spammed out here. I mean, got like hundred kills, like 116, 110, 127, 250 with this one's very good though. So yeah, there are all the attacks. And we have unknown playing as Arverni, hundred forty kills with the chosen swords here. I uh, spam these guys out as well. I mean, yeah, I think that's the best of the bunch. Is Oswan, 183 kills, and then his arch is 100 kills there. Then we have Josie playing as as Rome. He's uh, they had um, archers here with 119 kills, 114 kills. Evercardi cohort with 275, 208, uh, and then Legionaries over here with 142, 154, uh, and then Praetorians with 211, uh, 17 kills. Sorry. Then we have Super Mutant playing as the final Roman. A bit of a mishmash of an army, that's for sure, with a mix of gladiators and stocky extraordinary and legionaries. But yeah, some solid kills here. 190 kills, 244 with the armored legionaries. 132 with the Syrian auxiliary archers. Uh, and then he has Sokia Extraordinary did quite well, getting 168, 166 kills, not too shabby there. And his Praetorian Guard only getting 107, because they kept getting collapsed on by walls, unfortunately. But there you go, guys, that is today's Rome 2 Siege Battle. If you did enjoy, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.